What's up, everybody? This is Major coming at you from Throwback Sundays with Major. Look, don't leave this channel yet unless you click the subscribe button. Me and the fam need 600 more subscribers today, if possible, so that we can start going live and doing the Throwback Sundays on Sunday. For right now, we're posting videos about maybe some stuff that y'all haven't seen before, like today's video is going to be about Vietnamese pancakes, how to make those, okay? We're going to show y'all how to do that. So, Subscribe right now, like this video, stay tuned for the rest of the video so you can check out how to make a Vietnamese pancake. We're going to start coming at you with some more stuff during the weekdays on how to do other cultural types of foods, starting with Southeast Asia first. So stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. We only need 600 more subscribers so we can start going live and doing the throwback Sundays. Okay, so sit back and relax. Watch the rest of this video. I think you'll like it. Peace. Hi everyone, uh, this is Tao and uh, Major Wife and uh, today I'm gonna show you how to make uh, Vietnamese pancake. This is rice powder, uh, no, yes, rice flour, right? Okay, and then pour, we pour all this in the pot. We'll put some uh, coconut milk and water and a little uh, beer so it will get crunchy when, when we cook it um, can of coconut milk and we put in here I'm gonna put oh uh, wait we'll mix everything in here wait mix everything it needs some bubbles yep and then I will with beer, I don't want to put a lot. I should put a little bit. Beer will help it fry. Uh, it, it get crunchy when you fry. So it should need a little bit. Okay, this uh, bowl I just put in there is um, water. I mix this together. And then I will put in rice flour. Okay, you can mix it and we'll put it down and let me put it in there and then you mix it. Okay, mix. You pour slowly and and then mix it. Like it's gonna get sticky. Yeah. Like it's gonna get sticky. And then we mix together. This is, that smells like some kind of dumpling cake or something. Dumpling cake or something? Yeah. Yeah, mix it, mix it. And then I will put a little, this one turmeric powder. Turmeric powder. Put a little bit so it have the, just need a little bit to make the color. That's all. Mix it. Whoa, it's getting cool. Yeah. Ah, uh, you got it. You got this. Mm -hmm. Let me, okay. so what I do, I will put a little more water. But not a lot. That's enough. That's enough. Now we keep mixing, mixing. Mama, mama. Yeah. This is all we have. Before I put onion in the mixed pot, uh, in the powder, I will do one thing. We'll do one thing. I don't know what you call this one. I don't strainer. Know it's a strainer. Strainer. Okay. And I put the powder through here to make sure um, the, um, 
some stuff. If I don't miss good, it still stay on top. So I can get, I can smash it, smash it. Yeah. My English not um not all the way good. I still I still have to learn how to speak some uh, words. See, you see. So I, when I pull through, and then some stuff, I don't mix good. So it's still stuck here. So what I do, I just match it. And get all that out. Get all that out. And I'm gonna that's take, good. I'm going to take these onions with hands. Okay. Now you can put onion in here. Now we will put onion. In the pot. <laughs> it got sticky. Yeah, put it in here. Mix Look it, at that. It. Look at that. It's looking cool. Go ahead and put your um, heat on medium uh, to make it this pan it hot and then you have to turn it back down like right here you don't want to keep it so high because it can burn the cake so we want to make it a little lower now the pan is so hot so I have to turn it back down and then what I do I use banana, what you call stem? Banana stem. Banana stem. Or a piece of celery. Yeah, or celery. celery. And then you dip in the oil and then you move around like this. That uh, way you don't get a lot of oil in your food. We move around like this so some stuff we cook and then it, it, it kind of burns so we get all that burned stuff down here. It will stick in the banana stem, and then we will put the um, powder in it. I will watch it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I to see if it's good. So I just need this much, and then we move around, move around, move around. Ooh. And then I will put some of the vegetable I already um, prepared before. What's in the vegetable? So this one I have mushroom, onion, sweet onion, and veggie protein. This one looks just like meat. Look at this. Look at this. This looks just like a meat, right? See? Looks just like a meat. But it from soy, it protein. I want to taste one. Yeah, yeah. So when you prepare this, you cook it fast. You don't cook it long. Because when you cook it long, it kind of water come out. Because uh, sweet onion have a lot of water in there. So you want to cook it so fast. And then you put in here, it will cook a little more and then it's done. Let me see. Huh? It's going to, let me see. Wait, let me let it cook for two. Wow, that's cool. So when it look kind of like this, it means it, means it need more water. You see, it kind of... The bubbles? No, it, it kind of um, tight. Oh, it's, it dries out. Yeah, it really dries out. Yeah, it okay. dries out. So okay. you need a little more water in the... Uh, in the mix. In the mix, yeah. Amora, why does it need more water in there? Because it's still getting dry. Oh, okay. It's still getting dry from the pan. Ah, oh, I see. You want me to show you? Yeah, can you show me? Yeah. What, why don't you turn this first? So safe, keep this away this way. There you go. See? Oh, it's getting dry. Okay, I see. I think it's going to get this dry. Mm -hmm. do this after we put some more water in here. So do you want to go ahead and fix it? If that one, you can turn it and flip yeah. it or whatever. Yeah. Let the mix I love sit for 
I love, minutes. I love crunchy. That looks pretty good, though. Yeah, it's still good. So, I guys, it, it looks like an omelet, but it's a Vietnamese. It's not a omelet like with egg. It's it's an omelet. She uh, made that mix, and it almost looks like a crepe. Most people know what a crepe is called. So, basically, it's like a, a vegetable crepe is what it actually is. It likes the tortilla, huh? It likes tortilla, huh? So when Vietnamese you, tortilla. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Mm. So when you um take the top off mm -hmm. and then you let it sit for a little bit, don't take it out. But after you fix this one, uh, we'll put the sauce and yeah. stuff, and we'll show them how it yeah. looks when you eat it. The oh, let me let me see that vegetable. sauce. What's in there? It teriyaki. Teriyaki. Teriyaki and uh, maple syrup mm -hmm. and uh, garlic. Garlic. What kind of garlic? Organic garlic. Uh, can we see what it looks like? Show them the difference between regular garlic and then the organic? Yeah, this is organic one and this is we buy at the store. It, it doesn't say uh, organic, but I don't know this one organic or not. It, it doesn't say at the store. So I thought this, so the was, one I this, thought is. this was organic. No, it's oh, different kind. Different kind so, of garlic. So describe to them. So one is the white garlic. says organic. This one has got a purple color yeah. to it. So um, I'm sure there's different variations of garlic. So actually this purple one, I don't know the name of it, but it's... This is garlic. At the end of the day, I think all garlic is strong and it tastes the same. I don't know if there's different taste of garlic, but maybe there's diff different colors and stuff like that so she just wanted to show you that that's you're cutting up whole garlic not the jarred garlic that you already buy at the store so what are you doing now with all so the vegetables with the with that cake it better to it will taste really good you got a little with, um, you have to mix this all with day some vegetables okay so the vegetable that's in here is from our garden this is the purple um what we call it basil is that what they said yeah purple basil, purple basil. okay purple basil uh let's see I there's like some it. arugula in I here me and i think a little baby arugula there's some lunch. other stuff we'll get the name there's some more arugula this one she grows on the side of the house they eat this in vietnam i don't know the name sorry y'all just be eating stuff and don't know but we'll get the name of this one it looks like a little water lily kind of vegetable but um like i said we'll get the american name for it and then i see some peppermint in here from our garden um, all of these vegetables are from the garden right outside so we know what's going in them because we grew them and there it goes and then she put the with you you guys might call it a crepe um you might say a Vietnamese tortilla, my daughter said. Say Vietnamese tortilla. Vietnamese tortilla. Yeah. And uh, what do y'all call it in Vietnamese? Bánh xeo. Oh, yeah. Bánh xeo. Bánh xeo. That's this. So that's... Here, I'm going to pick it up so you can see. So it's 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 a little... Cr it's really hot right now. Yeah, but she got it sitting on top of the, the um, banana leaf. <laughs> Just give you the, the ambiance of the village... Uh, how they would cook something in the village or on the street food scene in Vietnam. So let's see what else she's going to do. She's going to do another okay, one. I, I will do another one. Yep. Uh, after I mix more water in the powder, let's see how it does. So, so she, every time you take the, the cake out and then you will rub it again. Rub a little oil. That gets the sticky. Yeah. The banana leaf uh, stem she's using gets the sticky burnt part off so it doesn't stick to your brand new uh, Vietnamese tortilla bonsai. Bon set. I, I can't pronounce it right, but here we go. You would think I could better. think I could speak Vietnamese by now, but now see how quick it bubbled up. That's what I think. That's what she's looking for. Yeah. Okay. I want, I want mice to be crunchy. Yeah. Okay. You make another crunchy? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. The first one I kind of test, so I don't want to put a lot of. Mm. The stuff inside, but uh, this one is good. Now we cover it. You so, want to come try how it? we, yeah, let's go over here. We're gonna try 
try this right here. Get some chopsticks. In Chinese, they say quads. Let me. How do you say? Uh, I'm not really. Okay. Um, okay. Hang on a second. We'll go ahead and talk a little bit. All right. So uh, there's two ways you can eat this. You can just, you know, you can take a little piece, let's say, and dip it in your sauce and just eat it, right? With with that. Mmm. That's pretty good sauce with some vegetable. Or you can use rice paper. So where's the rice paper top? Rice paper. Mm. All right, so rice paper, you see it at the store all the time, but you may not ever used it or know how to use it actually. So they use rice paper to roll things in, like you get the spring rolls from the Asian store or the Thai store. So the, the ones we get are the brown rice rice paper with the low sodium. So what you do, is you go ahead and move yours honey she already did it you just get some little pan or a bowl and you dip it in the water you do both sides right and that's what's going to get it to start get getting to be soft so then when you get the contents in here you can roll it up and eat it so i'll let it get a little bit uh a little sticky and then we'll go ahead and roll up some of the food she just cooked the bonsai in the rice paper. All right, so you got your rice paper. See, it's getting soft. So take a little bit. Actually, let me take some vegetable first. We just grab it, put it in there. Take right. like a trash bag. Yep, and then we're gonna take some of the bonsai, which she just cooked, right? Get it in here. Then I'm not the best with rolling, so y'all just have to deal with it. But then you know you're gonna roll it up. Punchy. Yeah, you're gonna roll it up and she can make them look better, but it'll look something like that something like that and then you just dip it in the sauce And then you eat it it's like a Vietnamese sandwich without the bread then, mm. This is my uh, favorite food when I was small so every time when it rain, then we make this kind of food. It's good for uh, winter. Winter. When it's cold, we eat this kind of food. Mmm. Mmm. You like it? Mm. What do you think? It good or bad? Good. Good? Mm-hmm. So mommy teach you and then when you grow up, you will make for mommy and daddy? Mm -hmm. Okay. All the flavor in there. Mm. I actually taste a little bit of the beer in the mix. I think I do anyway, but. Whoa. What you think about that, more? Crunchy. Mm, you want some of that crunchy part? Yeah. Okay. You're going to have to get a lot of your ingredients from the Asian market, okay? Don't think that you can find everything at your local grocery store. So uh, the, the rice paper, sometimes you can get at your uh, regular store. Just go to the international aisle or the Asian aisle. Um, the rice the rice um, flour, I don't think you, you got to go to the Asian market. Um, and then everything else, onions. Mushrooms, of course, that's normal stuff. Your banana leaf that you saw us put all this on, Asian market somewhere. Uh, you're not going to have banana leaves necessarily at your local grocery store, but maybe some of the more uh, you know organic markets got it or whatever. But uh, you guys kind of see what's going on with this. We're going to show you one more thing and then see what y'all think about this. All right, what you got? Are you just making another one? 
So she still got, let me see. We made how many so far? Like two or three? We already made three. Three, but she still got all this left. It's quite a bit of mix left. So you can feed a lot of people cooking this way with this type of uh, mixture. Uh, in other words, with the economy being like it is, this kind of food goes a long way. It's not like you just barely got enough to feed people. You know, if you need to make some more, you can just add some more water. To be honest, because there's still quite a bit of mixture left. It looks like about another five, six, seven, eight. You can make uh, uh, add more water, but uh, when you add too much water, yeah, it's too much not, is not, not good. Crunchy. Yeah, okay, so too much water is not crunchy. But I was just talking about if you had to make enough food for everybody and you were, yeah. say it was an emergency situation, and you're trying to stretch the food to make yeah. more, then uh, that's how you would do it. So y'all see how this little four-year-old, how she be working. Uh, she don't care if you're doing a video. She going to put her computer on, do all kind of stuff. So uh, that's just an honest four-year-old. She ain't got time for all that, so she's going to do her own thing. But look, we're going to eat this stuff up. I hope y'all like this video, uh, showing y'all how to use rice paper. Showing you how to make the, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, correct me. Bonthead? Bonseo. 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 Bonthead is another food she'll have to show y'all how to make. Uh, I definitely, that's a whole nother video. Bonseo is this one. It looks like a crepe. You would say in America or France, like a crepe. Uh, basically, that's what it is, just with an Asian twist. Got the rice paper and the veggies going in there. Mm -hmm. So, I hope y'all like this video. I hope you got something out of it. We'll be producing some more, of course, so stay tuned. Make sure you like and subscribe to our new channel. That way you can be notified when we do a new video. Subscribe today, right? We got to get a thousand subscribers in the house so that we can go live and do our Throwback Sunday stuff on Sundays. So we're going to have more stuff uh, as far as food. Ooh, that's for me. Thank you. Mmm, see? That's how you professionally wrap it. Unlike the one that I just did. This looks professional right here. But make sure that you uh, uh, subscribe. Hit the like button. Make sure that this algorithm can punch out and people can get a hold of us. Leave some good comments down below. We really appreciate you. And until the next time, this is Major and Fam signing off for... Amor, signing off... Say it strong. Signing off for... And peace. peace. <laughs> All right, y'all. Peace. One, two, three, four.